The Young and the Restless Spoilers Recap Wednesday, May 10th, Nate Spies on Audra, Adam's New CEO Demands The Young and the Restless Spoilers Recap for Wednesday, May 10th, teases that Adam Newman will meet with Chelsea Lawson at Society so they can discuss Connor Newman, who's been sullen and moody ever since he found out about his new little sister. Chelsea and Adam will worry this was one change too many for Connor, but they'll hold out hope that he can adjust since there's still time before the baby's born. After Billy Abbott arrives, Adam will be surprisingly civil to him on the way out. Billy will acknowledge that fact and get updates from Chelsea on the latest Connor crisis. That'll lead to Billy suggesting a fun get-together for Connor and Johnny Abbott as a distraction. Billy will point out that it might remind Connor that having a sibling isn't so bad, so Chelsea will love the idea. In Sally Spectra's GCAC suite, she'll try to persuade Nick Newman to stay and have breakfast with her, but he'll have some things to take care of. Sally will assume confronting Victor Newman is on the to-do list, so she'll make Nick promise not to start a Newman war. Afterward, Nick will corner Victor at society to blast him trying to bribe Sally into leaving her baby behind. Although Nick will know this is just another one of Victor's tests, he'll argue that Sally doesn't realize that and assumes it's legit. Now that Sally has passed, Nick will push Victor to leave her alone. At Crimson Lights, Sally and Chloe Mitchell will get some bad news from Jill Abbott, who'll delay striking a deal with their interior design business. That'll leave Chloe and Sally back at square one since they were counting on catching a big fish to launch everything. Once Adam comes along, Chloe will make herself scarce. Sally will explain the latest business setback. So Adam will insist that Sally could come to work for him instead of dipping into her savings. Adam will point out that Sally could be his COO at McCall Unlimited or even do an in-house design firm there and bring Chloe along. In fact, Adam will contend that Sally can have any position of her choosing. Sally will insist she's not a damsel in distress and will spill the beans about Victor trying to bribe her into leaving town without the baby. That shocker will upset Adam, but Sally won't want him creating more turmoil and will warn against it just like she did with Nick. Even so, Adam will feel like he's going to need people like Sally to clean up the mess at McCall Unlimited, so he'll assure Sally that his offer stands. Next on Wednesday's YNR episode, Adam will meet with Victor in the park to share his terms. Although Adam will be willing to rely on Victor as a consultant, he'll insist on running McCall Unlimited the way he sees fit. Adam will also mention Victor's proposal for Sally and push him to back off since she passed his test. When it comes to Sally and the baby, Adam will warn that they're off limits. Adam will also want to hire Sally at McCall Unlimited and will suggest he doesn't owe Victor an explanation since he's in charge of building his team. Although Victor isn't usually someone who lets someone dictate terms to him, he'll get on board with the ones his son has demanded and shake on the CEO deal. Victor will also feel confident that Adam's going to need him, so he'll plan to be there for him when that happens. At society again, Chloe will tell Billy and Chelsea about Jill's disappointing decision. After Chelsea vows to cheer Chloe up with a girl's night, she'll have to dash off to therapy. Once Chloe is alone with Billy, she'll reflect on him being a changed man and will see that he's really stepped up for Chelsea. At Crimson Lights, Audra Charles will get the scoop from Elena Dawson about the big blow-up in Los Angeles. Elena will admit there's no coming back from this in her relationship with Nate Hastings, so she ended things and moved out. After Elena reflects on trying so hard to make this romance work, she'll admit maybe it was because of how much they hurt Devin Hamilton. It left Elena feeling like she had to make something last with Nate or else they hurt Devin for nothing. Audra will push Elena to keep working on the podcast for Newman Media with her head held high because she's good at it. Since convincing J.T. Hellstrom to do the podcast in Genoa City would be a good way to get back at Victoria, Audra will hint that Victoria should keep pursuing it. As Nate arrives and spies on the conversation, Elena will warn Audra to watch her back since Nate has no loyalties and thinks he can do no wrong. Once Elena adds that Audra shouldn't sleep on Nate's charming demeanor, Audra will insist she won't. Nate will watch and eavesdrop for a moment before looking pensive. At Newman Enterprises, 
Nikki Newman will pry an admission out of Victoria Newman, who'll confirm her personal connection with Nate led to problems when Elena showed up in LA. Victoria will point out that Nate's relationship with Elena appears to be over, but Nikki will remain concerned about how this romance could affect both her daughter and the company. Nick will also find out about the trip leading to Elena's breakup with Nate, so he'll blast Victoria over that and once again struggle to believe Nate has any sense of loyalty. The young and the restless spoilers say Victoria will continue to think she knows best, so stay tuned to see if that way of thinking will come back to bite her. CDL's the place to be for terrific young and the restless spoilers, updates and news, so make us your top way in our source. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more update news.